Thank you, uh, Mr. Treasurer. Um, I, uh, I believe uh, any uh, economic phenomenon, including financial vulnerability, occur not due to one single fact, rather than uh, multiple fact. Uh, so, uh, as moderator say, here I try to use a multiple mention approach to uh, describe uh, what will happen in the next two or three years. Uh, in my mind, the first dimension is the possibility of uh, global uh, economic growth. Uh, we heard the news, uh, the, the third quarter of this year, uh, U.S. growth rate reached 3.5%, which is very strong. But my feeling is the U.S. economy uh, now is approach its highest. Uh, it will um, uh, reach the turning point. The reason is, when is uh, I guess federal will continue to increase interest rate. At the same time, the debt ratio uh, had been very high. So that means the company will pay uh, more cost for their financing. Uh, so also the, uh, the tax cut, uh, the incentive uh, will be dramatically reduce uh, in two years or even disappear um, because uh, so far, I guess one trillion uh, US dollar come back from overseas, 50% uh, uh, will make investment. Another 50% uh, will be used to uh, purchase, uh, repurchase their stock uh, share. At the same time, um, Chinese economy uh, under the great pressure of downside, uh, as I mentioned uh, uh, yesterday, uh, the third quarter uh, grow, uh, GDP growth is 6.5%. Uh, relative to other countries, uh, it uh, looks uh, okay, but it is the lowest uh, growth rate uh, since first quarter 2009. Uh, so, the, in next uh, one or two years, I guess Chinese economy still will uh, uh, gradually uh, come down. Uh, so, if you add the growth, uh, U.S. and China, uh, which will occupy 50% of uh, total gro uh, global growth, if these two largest economy uh, under the uh, the going down phase of uh, economic uh, circle, uh, it will drag on the rest of, uh, of uh, world economy. Uh, yesterday lunch, uh, Mr. Um, Blanchard mentioned uh, Minsky. Actually, uh, earlier, the urban fisher in the um, 30s of last century have already found they do have a relation between the economic circle and uh, uh, financial vulnerability. Uh, specifically, when the economy on the downside, uh, the financial vulnerability uh, will become bigger. So that's, uh, I guess, in the next two or three years, that's the time we should closely watch uh, what's happening in, in this regard. The second dimension uh, is um, about the uh, capital, uh, cross-border capital flow, uh, plus uh, debt ratio are very high. Uh, yesterday also Blanchard mentioned the, 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 the global debt ratio already reached the same level uh, just uh, before the uh, global financial crisis. Uh, at the same time, I, I want to mention um, the, the cross-border capital in terms of volume may be not so high 
um, that before global financial crisis. But the structure of uh, cross-border capital flow uh, had been changing. Now, particularly among the developing countries, uh, capital uh, cross-border uh, capital uh, went up uh, dramatically. Um, someone also mentioned um, uh, Adam Tooze uh, last year published a new book called uh, Crashed. He rightly pointed out so far too much attention has been to the current account balance uh, rather than to uh, cross-border capital flow. Um, particularly, he cited an example during, um, uh, before a global uh, financial crisis, uh, people worry about the so-called uh, global saving uh, uh, gap, or people take care of capital from Eastern uh, Asia to US. Actually, he found the fact that the more capital between European and the US, uh, the, the volume is double of the, the capital from Asia to US. Although current account balance of European generally is okay, also almost balance current account of Europe uh, with the United States, but the capital flow is tremendously. So I guess it's very important we not only look at the uh, uh, current account, even capital account, rather than we should take care of more growth uh, capital flow, uh, which uh, sometimes ignore the details of the capital flow. That will um, actually, growth capital flow will create some uh, the financial uh, problem. The last session I, I, in my mind that we should consider is, of course, many people have already uh, described uh, the escalation of U.S.-China uh, trade uh, war. Uh, I guess the longer the war dragon are, the bigger its negative impact, uh, not only to China and the U.S., but uh, to the rest of the world. Uh, as uh, Mr. Brandchild mentioned, uh, the reduce of uh, trade balance is only one part of a uh, problem, one part of uh, negative impact. Also, he mentioned the inv investment. I can further to point out they have a chain reaction. After the reduction of investment, which will lead to the reduce of employ, uh, employment, then the national income will down, will reduce the consumption. That it's chain creation, uh, it's uh, will drag on the global financial, uh, global uh, 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 economic growth. Uh, so, uh, in my conclusion, I will say these three dimensions uh, will play some role, particularly these factors, if they uh, overlapping, uh, which will uh, create uh, economic and financial uh, problem down the road in the next two or three years. i stop here. Thank you very much. You were <laughs> fantastic, both in your exposition and respecting the time limit. So thank you so much, Kiara.